I'm Trixie the Golden Witch, and I'm riding the train here with my buddy... Conductor Bird Stork. I put the coals in this holes. What you reviewing? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you, what you reviewing? What you, what you reviewing? And we're going to talk about the new Andrew W.K. album, God is Partying. An album that has Andrew W.K., I think the very first lyric is like, Your God is Dead or something like yeah, that. Your God is a liar. That's what it is. The first song is called Everyone is or Everyone Sins, something Everybody like that. Sins. Everybody Sins. Um, and it's it starts off as a really slow song. And it's kind of like, hmm, this doesn't sound like Andrew W.K. I've ever heard before. And then it's like operatic rock ballad immediately after that. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. Most of them do start like really slow and then build into this crazy, weird, heavy rock shit. Crescendo. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. Andrew WK, like, his his very first album is the best known one, I Get Wet, uh, has Ready to Die and all that on it, which are all just, like, slamming party rock songs, just, like, heavy, aggressive. And after that, he started making much more, like, weird kind of experimental stuff that, while still heavy and rocking, does often, like, have those kind of build-ups. But, like, uh, until this album, most of his songs were on the shorter side. This is the first time we're getting, like, well, I shouldn't say the first time. Um, because Andrew W.K. sort of made a comeback with his last album, Music is Worth Living For. Uh, and that one similarly had like these big five-minute operatic evolving epics of songs. Um, but that album was like all about being uplifting. It was like, uh, hey, music is literally worth living for. Don't die, man. Like, and it's, it's like aimed at people who are at the absolute rock bottom. Like, hey, you know, if your life is complete fucking dog shit, this album's here to help you through. God is partying is like dark and not yeah. quite so inviting. What did you think about like the mood of this album? It's I don't know. It's not it's not happy necessarily. I mean, it can be L- listening to all of it. Like it comes back around. But um, the first part of it is really is just like yeah, we all sin. Isn't that fucked? Yeah. Isn't that messed up? Yeah. <laughs> the second track is Babylon, but it's spelled like B A B A. Is that what it is? Babu. Babylon. Um, yeah, it's, they're epic, dramatic songs that still kind of have, like, I won't say tongue-in-cheek so much as just that, like, Andrew W.K.'s sincerity is goofy because it's just so in-your-face, but that's why I like that this one has a darker tinge to it because, like, uh, you know, the first album is about partying, and it it portrays it as, like, an uplifting, great, life-affirming thing, but also, like, open your mouth, we're all gonna come in your face, is the lyrics of one of the songs. So, like, you know, with Music is Worth Living For, while I appreciated the uplifting messaging and all, at the same time, I was like, you know, the the aggression kind of isn't there. It's a little too... I felt like I was in too good of a station of life to appreciate music is worth living for. Like, I needed to be more down on in the dumps to, like, actually need that level of pick-me-up. And this has more of that raw, like, kind of sexy party feel. God is partying, you know? Um, it, the, the album cover is Andrew W.K., like, lying in a ditch with... It's really similar to the Panic at the Disco, um, the solo album, right after they all broke up. It's the one that Emperor's New Clothes is on. It's, uh, because in that one, Brendan Urie's like laying in a pool with a bunch of shit just going to ruin about him. In the album cover for God is Partying, it's just Andrew W.K. like laying on a street with garbage surrounding him. Piss all down his pants. Yeah. Uh, looking disgusting. It's actually almost exactly the same as how, uh, Digibro is portrayed in the first chapter of Road to Radcon. Um... But, uh, yeah, it's a hilarious album cover, and um, I was kind of just, like, really shocked how good this album was, because even though I love Andrew WK, I think he's an amazing personality. I've been to one of his shows that was not quite a concert. It was called a party. It was a come party with Andrew WK, and he performed, like, stripped-down versions of his songs that were, like, just drum and bass, and did a lot of talking in between and, like just kind of vibing it was weird but uh it was fun and he's he's also uh, been a part of the brony community because he is the reincarnation of Pinkie pie according to himself he's been a motivational speaker he was on destroy build destroy which i know you were a fan of as a kid um I was. yeah he recently tweeted out a picture it was like annihilate uh or it was regenerate annihilate regenerate or something like that i was like oh is he bringing it back or is this just a meme oh i hope he's bringing it back um 
But on the, the whole, this album's kind of really depressing. The first song we got out of this album was Stay True to Your Heart. It's what he uploaded onto YouTube, and it's a very, like, uplifting song. It, it, it might not be uplifting in the way it goes about being a song, like yeah. the, the vocals, it's the song, and all that. It's a dramatic kind of uplifting. It's, yeah. It's almost spiritual sounding. Yes. And I would say, having now listened to a full Andrew W.K. album front to back, instead of just having heard a lot of his little things like that he really does read as like a spiritual guy yes. more than anything this album was more church for me than donda like the emotions that album was trying to get out of me this one much more succeeded in doing and like uh my favorite track on this uh was called i'm in heaven and it's just this massively fucking heavy riff that's like like played on as many instruments as humanly fucking possible as he growls like take me to heaven um that is one of the songs that's going to be on my ipod forever like that's that's probably going to be in my like favorite songs of all time list before too very long just because it sounds so immense it's uh it's it's one of the heaviest sounding songs by what is not like traditionally a metal act that I've ever heard. Whoa. This is crazy. You can see the whole front end of this thing. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Yo, this is not a place I'd ever think I would stand. I mean, this is crazy. You can actually like it goes all the way to the front. That's what Andrew WK would be doing right now for what it's worth. <laughs> Bird, do you have a favorite track from God is Partying? Uh, I think my favorite track would probably have to be Stay True to Your Heart. Stay um, true! Because it's like, oh man, yeah, I can agree with the message. He's getting to registers. I don't usually hear Andrew WK in, and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. That song, the, the song right before that, um, sounds like it is lifting off, like, from the earth all the way past like the 10th dimension like it's a song that is just non-stop lift off the whole way through and then after that you get into stay true to your heart and it feels like you're floating through fucking like clouds of space dust as the universe fucking restructures itself it's nuts the album f just sounds so big um i will say i don't remember the second half as well as i do the first and granted i've only listened to this album all the way through once so far it had a enough of an impact that i was ready to talk about it um but i'm ready to listen to it many more times to get into the particulars of it i'm sure there's probably some deep cuts that will that will uh leave an impact but i'm in heaven just ever since even mentioning it it's just been soaring through my head and i'm like yeah dude so check this album out if you like heavy rock if you like any Andrew WK, this is like possibly his best album yet musically, um, and uh, I, I'm feeling it. I would give it like a, a strong eight to a light nine based on my current impressions. So, anyway, I'm Trixie the Golden Witch. I am also Trial of the Golden Witch. You can find my music. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Trixie from. Uh, Anyway, this has been Trixie the Golden Witch with Yig Studio. You can find my music on this channel as well as interviews with all sorts of musical artists and different personalities in the music sphere. The editor and producer of this channel, Vizzy, and I collaborate on it. You can find his music, other artists that we're friends with. Check out both of our other channels and all of our links to places that you can support us in the description below. Bird also has all his social media down there. One day we'll see him again, possibly. <laughs> And that's it, people. Take me to heaven. I'm doing it. Even balance on this if you want, either side. But yeah, we're gonna okay. Here. Look at it. Okay. This is great. It's like a 700 square foot apartment in Manhattan. Danny Mullen. Danny Mullen. Why haven't you been in a train, you little bitch? I got in this train halfway through a music review. You can't get into a train in a regular video. Okay, I gotta do some kind of rapping in here. What song should I... What song needs a train scene in it? What's my worst trait? What's my worst trait, y'all? What's my worst... Y'all, come on.
Let's go. What's my worst trait? 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 